Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topic C as Pregnancy Feature. Nigerians react to your bacteria's diagnosis alleged pregnancy. No doubt, Daya is one of the star filmmakers and singers. And she's one of the box office queens as she has wowed Nigerians over the years with her outstanding movies. From I Need Dariji to Omoni. The star actress shared that she was engaged in the year 2018 and many people were asking for her fiancé's identity. It was not until 2019 that she officially unveiled her fiancé's identity. And that was when we got to know that his name was Wale Ate. He's an auto dealer based in the USA. And he has several offices across state in Nigeria. Daya did not make that revolution until a fan jokingly asked if he could take her out on a date or even marry her. And before then, there have been several speculations about the man in Daya's life. So many people ask questions about Daya Musa because she's not one of the celebrities who really reveal so much on social media platforms. She only shares details about her work. And one of such was what she shared recently. She shared photos of herself on the movie set of Joe Billy. But then, Nigerians quickly noticed something in the pictures Daya shared. And many of them are reacting to this. Even though Daya has not come out to say that she's pregnant, but people are already congratulating her and leaving comments on her official social media platform and a few are asking questions. The social media is how goes and the name Spicy Ejak Banla commented, see as pregnancy feature. you. My early commented rejoicing, is mama pregnant for real? Another social media user commented, Nas 24.4, are you pregnant? Well one thing is for sure, Dayo would never come out to say she's pregnant or not pregnant or anything of such as she has done over the years. If you want to know more about this, you back to some Nigerians are reacting on and some have even started celebrating her alleged pregnancy. Please stay with us. Apart from being an actress, she is also a singer. She has released some songs like Ayemi, Ushiri Re, Mama's Love, Blow My Mind, and If You For You. This the actress was born, Temida Yoamusa. She was born in Lagos State. She's an actress, singer, director, filmmaker, and a businesswoman. She is the firstborn of her parents in a family of five. Her mother is from Ogun State, while her father is from Lagos State. She was born to her parents on 28th of July in the year 1984, so she should be 38 years old this year, 2022. Her mother's name is Mrs. Abiola Musa. She is a businesswoman. And her father's name is Mr. Kola Ole Rashid. He is a retired engineer. For education, she studied at Kennedy Private School in Suli, part of Lagos State. For her primary education, and her first school leaving certificate was obtained from Ogun State. She attended the schools Mayflower School in Nikene, Remo, Ogun State, and Mamak Secondary School in Shagam, also in Ogun State. Then she proceeded to Moshud Abiola Polytechnic in Abokuta, in Ogun State, and obtained a national diploma OND from there. Apart from being an actress and a singer, she's also said to be a proprietress. She has a school, paid up schools. She has one in Lagos State, another one in Ibadan, in Oyo State. Daya joined the movie industry 20 years ago in the year 2002 and she has successfully created a niche for herself. She has acted in movies like Oju Awu, Ekonsho Show, Ogume, Deumibe, Inu, Ida, Aruba, Oju Awu, Ajaibodu, Unforgivable, Pathetic, Omoni, and several others. It was in 2006 that she started producing her own movies. And of course, she's a multiple award winning actor. In 2010, she was honored with the Outstanding Performance at the Ambassador's Club. In 2011, Outstanding Achievers Awards. 2013, Award for Best Case in a Movie and the Best of Nude Awards. The same year, 2013, School of Art Achievers Awards of Honor. 2013, also Merit Awards. In 2014, Award for Best Indigenous Actress at the Nollywood Movies Awards. Also 2014, Best Crossover Act at the Yoruba Movie Academy Awards. 2014, Diamond Special Recognition Awards. 2016, Award of Excellence. 2017, Nollywood Female Face of the Year at the 2017 Pink Awards. Some of the movies she has produced include Unforgivable, Emuke, Aruba, Dari, and Omoniyo, just to mention a few of them. As Ellen mentioned, she's an outstanding filmmaker and she has released some amazing movies over the years. In 2019, she released the movie Omoniyo and she was asked questions about this and on what gave her the inspiration to make the movie Omoniyo. 
to do that. And this one person that just inspiration from things that happen around me. Things are here, things are rich, and things I get to see on daily basis. I did not write the script, but when I got the story, I liked it so I did one or two corrections. It was perfect. The story is about child molestation, parental negligence, and child marriage. I played the role of a nurse known as Omonia, a lady loved by the kids, and a community. Before I had the opportunity to experience a particular situation in Japan, when an 11-year-old child was molested. So when I received the script, I found it interesting because it's the kind of story I like to treat. I like the stories that have to do with social issues. I kind of have the strength to explain and make people see what's happening in our society. This issue of girl-child marriage, child abuse, happens everywhere and everything, but we are not addressing the issues. Not because we don't know it exists, but no one wants to be the voice and nobody wants to be too involved. This is a platform to advocate and to kick against child molestation as a filmmaker. It is just my only little way to give back to the society. I've chosen to educate people on some social matters happening around us. And as regards the challenges he had when she was making the movie, she had this to say. The challenge I had was while shooting the movie, we made the movie at first in Abakuta. And unfortunately we stopped and unfortunately we lost all the contents. Also, we were only able to retrieve just 35% of the movie and to lose 65%, which is more like the entire movie. I had to keep the project aside for a while, but when I thought of the message I had to pass to people through that movie, I had to call my cast and crew again to reshoot the movie in Djibouti. Everyone understood the situation and gave me their best, just as they, just as they did in the first shoot scene. Also, on a personal life, going back to our marital status, Dario is engaged and she got engaged in the year 2018 and viewed her fiancé's identity in 2019 as Ellen mentioned. And she was asked about her marriage in an interview. Well, she revealed she was not married yet, but then she believes marriage is blessed by God and should be honored by man, but then it is not something one should rush into. It is not a shopping mall where you can just go into it and buy or do some window shopping and leave when you're tired. Marriage should be done right. Don't worry, you hear a wedding bell song. So this is a little bit of other star actress that you are Musa. And we've come to the end of this episode where Nigerians react to your bad choice that Musa's alleged pregnancy. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content.